don't have enough film in these cameras. Yeah, not mine. Actually, this is a piece of conventional steel. It is made by the reaction of carbon with iron oxides, making about 30 grams of CO2 for this very little piece. The process of conventional steel making accounts for 80% to 90% of the CO2 emissions produced by the industry on a yearly basis. Imagine with me if we can replace such a reaction with the greener alternative of hydrogen. So instead of using carbon and producing CO2, we would be using hydrogen and producing H2O. Thus, this would lead to the wide-scale implementation of green steel making, which would further lead into cutting down the CO2 emissions on a yearly basis dramatically. This is a piece of hydrogen steel. It is made by the reaction of hydrogen with iron oxides, and it produces zero grams of CO2. Instead, it produces water. You see, in the reaction of hydrogen with iron oxides, we need to understand such a reaction at the atomic scale in order to figure out how does that reaction happen? The way in which hydrogen plays a role in reducing these oxides to form iron metal, if we can understand that on a deeper level, we can facilitate the improvement of such a reaction and we can facilitate the implementation of green steel making. To catch hydrogen is a pretty arduous task because hydrogen is small and fast. And as it reacts with these iron oxides, we want to be able to freeze that reaction in time and look at how the different atoms of hydrogen and water and iron oxides and iron are arranged with respect to one another. So in order to do that, I have developed the use of the React Hub module in order to take a look at little tips of iron oxides as they react with hydrogen. And using the React Hub module, we froze these reactions at different times and at different stages during the reaction. And in doing so, we were able to analyze the arrangements of hydrogen and water and iron oxides and iron as the reaction proceeds in 3D. And by doing that, we were able to understand more about the mechanism of the green steel making reaction and definitely what are the main limitations to the role of hydrogen. The research that we conduct here at Max Planck is pretty cool and it's fun for us, but this is not the only reason why we keep working on these projects. We have a joint responsibility towards making the earth more hospitable and more livable for the generations to come. And this is definitely impacted by the way we make our steels.